Hello to all. Greetings. Chronic Joy Tarot. We're doing your general weekly update for the week of May 29th through the Sunday, June 4th. I hope everyone's having, has had a good weekend. If you're in the States, you hopefully have a holiday on Monday, May, on Memorial Day, excuse me. And let's see what's what's up ahead for us, okay? So where we are now to start the week off, the card I pulled is traveling. So this is, you know, I, either literally traveling, as some of us are traveling. Um, in the States, this is a holiday, so possibly that's where, where we land today. Um, but if you're watching this later in the week or you know, you're not physically traveling, then I would imagine that this pertains more to our spiritual journey, you know, the sense of where we are in our life and how far we've come so far and what's up ahead. So this is sort of a um, in-process sort of a feeling card. It's right in the groove, right in the moment, right in the flow. So this is where we're starting out. Um, the internal energies that we're feeling uh, is nice. There might be a sense of playfulness, um, a sense of, you know, not a lot of big major things going on, um, you know, nothing really to worry too much about. So it's time to have a little fun or feel a little lighter from the inside out. And externally, this is a good place too. So the fool these cards all go together. This is a good place to be as we start the week out. The Fool is the um, zero spot, the first spot on the major arcanas. This is the begins the journey of the tarot. And we, you know, want to encapsulate the energy of the Fool as much as we can because it doesn't mean we're foolish. It means that we are in this very moment and we're not worried about what comes next. We're not... Um, concerned that, you know, we won't be supported. This guy's about to go off the ledge, but he doesn't really care because something will show up for him to, you know, find his footing again. He's, he trusts in that. He trusts in the next steps of the universe. This is um, a space, uh, um, uh, you know, we're holding a space of less micro focusing on details right now and more just kind of yep everything's going well there's more ease to the feeling um where we are where we stand now everything's going well or if you've just come out of or you know are in something that doesn't feel like it's going well this is your call to pull your vision back a little bit look at it with a more sort of global perspective and know everything does always work out it does always turn out. It, it, you know, the next thing that happens could wash your troubles away, right? So let's try to maintain that sense of playfulness and that sense of staying right in this moment this week. Um, with beautiful, this is this is a good card. It feels like our energies are really great this week. This is either um, you are in a state of harmony between, you know, heart and mind or heart and intuition. They are in harmony because of your personal practices, your meditation, your prayer, your whatever, yoga, um, exercise. That puts us in a state of harmony that keeps us centered um, into that space that, that is feeling very balanced and peaceful. If you don't feel this, then this is something to look forward to or something to try to reach again. Try to step up your meditative practices this week. There is a real harmonious feel to these cards this week. Um, you know, lightness, um, moving through life and, and loving right where we are, um, not worrying about what's ahead and staying in harmony between heart and mind. And then the nice, the outcome, this is good. Beyond illusion, this card signifies that those things that we see in life day to day, you know, um, just the realities that we 
you know, go to work, get in your car, you know, <laughs> go to school, do your studies, do whatever, um, take care of your family, cook dinner, you know, clean dishes, those things. That That's what sometimes we get caught in that rut or that routine and call that our life. And that's really all an illusion because our life lies more in this space, that harmony in our spirit between our spirit and our intuition and what we know to be true. Um, if there's more, this, this week feels like a very lovely spiritually oriented week. Um, time to kind of, you know, take a few minutes, take, take some time to sit into the, you know, space that your heart takes up and let your worries go. And, you know, it's kind of a pause between, you know, I don't know if any of you have children in school or are in school. Um, it's a pause between the end of the year and some, the beginning of summer or just sort of a ease and flow week. That's what we're in right now. And if you don't feel like you're there, take the steps, take, take, you know, aim from any of these cards and focus on that energy so that you can ease yourself back into it. You know, find your sense of playfulness from within, find your lightness, um, know that whatever spot you stand in, it's just one little space on your path compared to everything else you've traveled and everything else ahead. Um, you know, try to take the position of the fool and don't look where you're stepping next, just be, and then regain your sense of harmony, you know, do more meditation or <clears throat> spend time in nature, find that, find that ease in your spiritual self. That's what we're called to do this week. And if you're already here, wonderful. You're already, you can write it out because that's what the energies are telling us. This is a lovely, lovely week. I hope all of you enjoy it. And um, I will talk to you next week. And I've posted the June Zodiac-based um, readings for every su um, sun sign. So go ahead and find those on my channel and see what's up for you this month as far as your astrology sign goes. Okay? Thank you for watching. Thanks for visiting. I hope everyone has a joyous, beautiful week.